All right, ladies and gents, gents and ladies, Coffee Doug here. Happy Saturday. This week, I am reviewing the movie Duel. This is on VHS, because I picked this shit up at a yard sale with JM85, and uh, it is still a good condition VHS. This has got to be so old. I mean, I don't know how old this actual video cassette is, but uh, it looks like 1990. Um, it originally came out in 1971, Rated PG. A lot of people know this movie or have heard of it, but have never seen it. It is uh, directed by none other than Steven Spielberg, uh, one of his very first uh, directorial debuts, so to speak. Uh, written by Richard Matheson, he wrote a short story called Duel, and then he wrote the screenplay for the movie. It originally ran in, um, if I, the history of it, from what I understand, is that it ran in Playboy magazine as a short story, maybe in one or two issues. I don't know uh, where else it might have, it might have been in a collection of something, I'm not sure. And then uh, Steven Spielberg heard about it through the Playboy magazine and decided to, to adapt it as a movie which is pretty cool. You will hear a lot of, uh, or I have heard, a lot of writers and directors of horror, but also of many other um, genres, talk about that film, Duel. They'll talk about how they watched it as a kid, and it inspired them, and it just, they can never get enough of it. it uh, the overall plot, it stars Dennis Weaver, and the overall plot is this salesman, played by Dennis Weaver, is driving to meet a client, uh, you know, a couple hours away out of the city, He's on, I don't want to say back roads like gravel roads, but he's on some, you know, back mountain type roads. And this truck driver, who you don't really see, you just see the truck, targets him. And it is just a cat and mouse game of this trucker trying to run him off the road, run him over, cause him just all kinds of paranoia and, you know, just anxiety and harm and danger and just... An overall shitty day. Uh, the salesman, he's driving like this 1970 Plymouth, uh, what is it, Plymouth Valiant. And just to have that small car against this huge semi-truck is uh, pretty crazy. A, a lot of people like will compare it to something like, well, here's one, Joyride, which is, I just brought that out. Um, just to, There's a lot of, you could tell there's a lot of like, similar situations. You could tell the movie Joyride was inspired by that. I don't really see that it's comparable personally as far as like quality of movie. Duel, it's dated. It's definitely dated. But if you sit down to watch it and just try to not have any interruptions, I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's just that it is kind of pulse pounding and it, is, it can be a little boring here and there only in the fact that it is dated. But I, even still, I say it, it gets you on the edge of your seat. And it's not all on the road. What's, what's great is the way he wrote it and the way Spielberg directed it. There are times when uh, the salesman makes different stops, like going into a diner. That was one in particular scene where... It, the whole time it made you tense. He's not even driving, and while he's in this diner, you're like, oh man, oh man. And j you don't know, he's looking for the driver of the truck, and it just really, like, ah, oh, gets you gripping. Just, woo! So, good movie. Overall, I thought it was really cool. There, I mean, and then there's other scenes, too, where, like, uh, there's a school bus scene where you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, but you could tell the trucker is only after him. It's not just some, like, homicidal maniac truck. It's like, for some reason, that trucker has zeroed in on this poor salesman, and it's just going to make his life a living hell. So, um, obviously, there's situations. It felt like a very real movie, but there's situations where, like, oh, he could have, would have, should have done this. That's with anything. you got, you got to just put yourself in the situation. You know, it's supposed to be like a thriller, and I can't even call this horror, but a thriller film. So... You know, he made bad choices here and there that led him into this confrontation with this truck driver. A um, couple other things I kind of wanted to talk about, um, other than it's, you know, oh, it's on demand. Um, it is it is available to some on demand, so if you could find it there, that'd be awesome. Or I don't know if it's, I would assume it's available on DVD. I didn't check. There's the VHS version. But one main reason I wanted to talk about it right now is because in the comics... Like I said, many people are influenced by this movie. IDW, 
um, is doing a four-issue miniseries, and if you see the writers on there, Stephen King and Joe Hill, this is called Road Rage. And this is just the first is issue, which I read today. Um, it is adapted by uh, Chris Riel. Um, basically, what went on, excuse me, Richard Matheson wrote Duel, inspired lots of people, a few different films. Uh, Stephen King loved it. Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son, he writes uh, Lock and Key, the comic series, and he's wrote a lot of other novels. Cool writer. Um, they really loved Duel. So they did. A, there was an anthology being made, um, a tribute anthology, where people could write little short stories, or writers could write a short story, in tribute to Richard Matheson, who wrote Duel. So Stephen King and Joe Hill wrote something called Throttle, and uh, just a short story. So this Chris Riel, he decided he wanted to get into comics with it, or, or incorporate it into comics, and Joe Hill loved that idea, because he already writes for comics, and so did Stephen King. So this story, Road Rage, the first two issues, hope you could follow all that, it adapts the short story Throttle. Um, and then the second two issues are adapting uh, the story Duel. Throttle was inspired by Duel. So, so far it seems like it's like mo mo there, there's more in-depth with Throttle to the, like, there's these motorcycle characters and uh, there, there's a truck after them. So it's kind of the same premise, but still a cool overall story. But I think that's so awesome that here you've got Spielberg that made this movie, a uh, huge director by Richard Matheson, who a lot of pe people have heard of, of a story he wrote, Duel. And then you got people like Stephen King and Joe Hill inspired by it to write another short story. And then you get this comic guy that incorporates it. and uh, Just overall cool. So I recommend watching Duel if you get the time on a Sunday afternoon. And uh, by all means, check out the comic. Buy it issue for issue or wait till it's traded. Either way, I'm always a huge supporter of comics in print. So, until next Saturday, let me know what you think. I'm going to be writing you back. Uh, let me know if there's something in particular that you think I should review. I know it's been, seemed like I've stick to mainly horror lately, but I don't know. That's just what I'm into right now. I'm getting ready to go to a big horror convention in March, and I'm excited, and that's that. So, here's till next Saturday.